her driving in the rain along the 1,000 foot long gravel road that leads from the diamond recovery plant to the Worthington open pit mine. As you see, we're going uphill and there are humps intentionally made in this road. We could have had a uh, gradual slope, but then the rain would wash the road out. So these humps are actually designed to divert the water into ditches on the side of the road so that it doesn't go and wash the wash the road out. Uh, this is where our, the 10 acres of the Worthington Diamond Mine begins. And our open pit mine, uh, right below us here, it's been core drilled and there's 350 feet of lamparite. So more than I'll ever dig and wash in my lifetime. But this road leads to our open pit mine and if I don't get stuck I can show you it's draining over there and there is the ore we have piled up right now and the water is going away down the ditch to the valley but we're only a thousand feet away from the processing plant and Mac can scoop up half a ton of ore at a time and bring it to me at the discovery plant and by the time he gets back with that half ton uh, and brings me another half ton, uh, the plant has processed it. We're located just less than a half mile from Southwest Arkansas's famous crater of Diamond State Park. And this mine is on private land. That's how we can leave our holes open and uh, process with heavy equipment, dig the hole and haul it and wash it.